everybody, and today I'm going to show you this 12-sided hexaflex uh, hexaflexagon, which I have uh, which I have constructed. And I, in this first part, I will be showing off its properties. So just like a normal hexaflexagon, it can go one, one, two, three. And then back to one. As you notice, all these little circles, all these blue circles, and are in the middle. So uh, you'll be able to see which ones are alternates and which ones are not. So, and like the regular hexaflexagon, one goes to six, two goes to five, and three goes to four. All right. But unlike the regular hexaflexagon, from six you can go to from six you can go to twelve. And if you go back to six, uh, in this alternate three, you can tell by the circle. The circle parts are on the are on the outside. You can see that the circles are on the outside. So. If you you can make this one go to 11 and there's it, it's similar with all the sides so let me just show you on this map I have made to demonstrate this so this is kind of what I just showed you all right so from one you can go to six from six you can go to 12 or you can go to this alternate three all right and from this alternate three you can either go back to one or you can go to 11 okay and the same, the same thing true with uh, two. So two goes to five, and from five you can either go to ten, or you can go to one. All right. And uh, from this alternate one, you can go to nine, or you can go back to two. And with three, three goes to four. From four you can go to eight or to this alternate 2, from this alternate 2 you can go to 7 and more back to 3. So that's basically all the sides and now I will show you how to make this. So this is what I like to call the DNA strip. This is all the numbers that you need to put on the triangles to make this hexaflexagon. Uh, this 12-sided uh, hexaflexagon. So the numbers you put on the first side are 6, 4, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 5, 6, 3, 1, 6, 4, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 5, 6, 3, 1, 6, 4, 2, 3, 4, Five, one, two, five, six, three, one, and then the glue side. All right. And on the other side, it is glue, and then seven, seven, eight, eight, nine, nine, ten, ten, and uh, ten, ten, eleven, eleven, twelve, twelve, and then that repeats. So on this first side, there isn't a, there isn't any real pattern. There is one. It's uh, it repeats. It, it does. Th there is some repetition here, but it's not very clear. But when I wind this up, like so, okay. Now that I have wound this up, there a pattern did emerge. It's like six four four five five six six four four five five six six four four five five six and like and then the glue side and then on the other side you can see there's two three one 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 and then oh and before that was the glue side so now we flip flip this over and we put the four to the four the five to the five the six to the six, then the four to the four,
Alright. Now, what we have to do to make this 12-sided hexaflexagon is we have to put these two twos together. Alright? And then we put, we, we try to put two twos together. So we put that together, then we flip it over, put those two twos together, and the six, put the six on the six, and then the glue side on that glue side. I have it worn out so you can't really see it that well, but that is a glue side. And then flip it over, and now we have an operational 12 sided hexaflexagon. And um, just thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you found uh, any of my explanations insufficient or if you found my map of the sides a little bit too complicated, then tell me in the comments. And just thank you so much for watching. Hope, uh, hope you enjoyed it and see you next time. Bye.